Hello, and welcome to Ubuntu and Open Source. Today, i like to talk about themes. I have an iMac theme that i like to install from this particular website right here. And it's made for LXDE, which means Ubuntu can use it. This is the website I downloaded it from. Now you can see it's from, they did this post for Ubuntu 12.04. And you can see this date, date that it was posted back in 2012. So I had to, I tried it on my 12.04 and it worked. And I had to try it again on my 16.04 and it worked. So I have parts of it already installed. But you just follow the instructions here. You download the theme. You can download the wallpapers if you want to. I have. I didn't install them yet. And the icon set. They chose to use Karyo Doc and XCom. XCom is a comp composite manager, basically. I'll show you that in a, in a minute too. But I'll show you what I did. So you download the themes. It's a dev file. After you download the dev file, I've showed you how to install dev files. And I can show you again where my downloads are. And I put it in my themes. So, if we look here, the name is Mac OS X LXDE 0 0.1 all dip. That's this one right here. Just right click and do GW package installer. It's going to ask, soon as you hit install, is mine saying reinstall? You hit the install, put in your password. You go on to the wallpapers, do the same thing. And go on to this one, this file here, right click, do the same thing. I've already done that though. Like I said, I had to see that, I had to check out to see if it would work first. So after you download these dev files and install them, then you need to install a doc. I chose Docky. Or you can use Karyo DAC. And to install them, you can use your Synaptic Package Manager. Or terminal. Um, so if you were to use terminal, you go sudo app get install. Like I said, I chose Docky. And so it says I already have Docky installed. And you would do the same thing for Compton. You're going to need Compton. And again, it's going to tell you that I already have it installed. So after you install Docky, Compton, well, Docky or Karyo Doc. And you have all the icons and themes installed. You go to your customized look and feel. This is what the new theme will look like. Just click on it. You click apply. Icon themes. What do they call it? For, for the icons, this is what that is. And then you hit apply. As you can see already up here, the th the icon for the, this has already changed. Now the window border, that's the window border. You can choose that window border if you like, or you can keep the default. I'm used to the default. Don't worry about that. 
So I'm going to minimize and minimize. So after you get that all installed, this is the wallpaper that I download off the internet. There's um, many you can choose from. Just look for I iMac types. And to change it, you right click on it. Click on your wallpapers. This is what it, mine was called when I downloaded it. And just hit open. You can add your desktop icons so it looks more like uh, your iMac. Okay, so you notice here down here in Docky, and some of the features are grayed out because it doesn't have Compton running yet. And so we can fix that in terminal. This isn't how we're going to keep it installed, but this is what we can, I just want to show you what Compton does. I'm going to minimize that. So now you see the dock here has changed. It has a bit more of a graphic user interface and feel to it like it would normally would. And some of the features are there better now. This is the way I like to keep it. And you have a few themes here that you can use. Oh, error. How about that? And some docklets. And some helpers. But now the dock has a better feel to it and how it responds. If I close this, that Compton feature goes away. Now you see the, the docky, it, it's has a, some black light, some a black border around here. That's the composite feature that's gone away. Ubuntu does not have a composite feature in it. You have to install one. So. So you don't have to keep on using terminal. We're going to go to our system tools. I'm sorry. Here we go. Preferences. Default applications for LX sessions. And inside auto start, we're going to type Compton. This way, every time you start your computer, Compton will all automatically start. Now to get it going, you would normally, you would log out. That's all you have to do is log out. I'm not going to log out right now or else I lose my recording session here. But you will log out and all the features that it was that it was looking at before will come back so there you go to, to have a iMac theme like running on your Ubuntu thank you